Hey guys, I know I haven't been posting a lot. I mean, I suck at posting my YouTube videos, but I have another wedding wedding series video. This is my wedding invites and how I did it. I basically, I put them together myself. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that. I made the design through an app called Canva. So I was able to design it. Like This is everything that I did. And then back here is like the wedding website. It's pretty cool. It was really fun. It took a lot of time wrapping them all with vellum paper and tying them and stamping them. But I think they came out so cute and I got a lot of compliments. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I got everything done. And I'll go ahead and link in the description where I bought things, what app I used, and all of that. So if you are interested, stay tuned. The wedding's getting close. We have like four weeks now sorry excuse my hair it's late at night and it's very exciting and i'm so glad that the planning process is going to be done with i mean it's pretty much done it's just paying everybody on the same day or right before and that's a lot but uh it's gonna be fun and then we get to go on our honeymoon that's gonna be so fun we're going to disney world and probably universal florida if not we'll just go ahead and see the areas of orlando or around the area i'm not sure yet but yeah i can't wait so we went ahead and printed the envelopes using a cricut so we found a template that we liked through their app and then you just write in the name or whatever you wanted to say h is going to be your last name so we went with that we also used the cricut to go ahead and write all the addresses for the envelopes that we had to send out so i wrapped them in vellum wrapper and i used this twine or yarn and i did a little wax seal stamp that i used a glue stick for and these are the envelopes, ignore this one, but these are the ones that I'm just handing out. And then the ones that I'm sending out have addresses. I added wax on the outside of a couple of them, but I was going to run out of wax if I did it on the inside and the outside. So I just kept it on the inside. So here's how they looked when they were all finished being wrapped in the vellum paper with the twine and the stamp. So I'm just showing you here how I did it. I bought this, I don't know if it's yarn, like very small yarn or what, but I bought it in Michael's. And then I got this hot glue gun from uh, Amazon. It's not a mini glue gun. It was a large one because I had bought some wax sticks from Amazon. And they were huge. I've never seen wax sticks that huge. Or I mean, like, so they was for a glue gun. I've never seen glue sticks that big. Um, so I ended up having to buy a new glue gun. So I could use the regular size wax sticks since I only had a mini glue gun. Um, but it helped so much because the other ways you could melt the sticks is there's some wax sticks that have a candle wick and you light it, but it's so slow to drip or you can also put in like a little bowl with a candle underneath, but that just takes forever when you're making so many invitations. So the glue gun, I definitely recommend. So here I'm just wrapping the, the yarn around about twice and then trying to hold it in place so that I can go ahead and put that seal on and the yarn will stay nice and tight. Um, I also put some aluminum foil underneath just so that the wax seal doesn't stick onto the vellum paper but it just sticks onto the, the yarn so people can slide it off very nicely. This part was tricky for me every time just trying to hold it taut so that I could go ahead and put the wax on it and then trying to get the strings to lay how I wanted them because sometimes if I laid them a certain way it would look weird once I put the wax on it. So I was just trying to figure that out here and then I'll go ahead and do the wax right about now i believe <laughs> i forgot to show you guys the stamp that i used but it's just one that i got from my sister-in-law so we we're all gonna have the same last name so it has the h on it she let me borrow it so what i did was i stuck it in the freezer so i could chill that way it would come off the wax very easily when i wasn't putting it in the freezer i was also putting it in a bowl of ice that helped also it's just the ice melts pretty quickly so you know you just do what works best and this wax stamp was on the smaller side. I noticed a lot of the ones I was looking at were a lot bigger, which is kind of the look I was going for. But then I figured this will be easier. One, it's free. And two, I won't have to use as much wax for it since it's a smaller stamp. So here I'm just going to show you how they looked once you remove the aluminum paper, which I mean I showed you in the beginning of the video. That's what they look like. I originally was talking in the original video, but I was talking very quietly, so I figured I would just do a voiceover just so you guys can hear me for sure. And here's a close-up of the envelopes and how they turned out. I think they turned out really nice. I had a couple people asking, like, did you do this by hand? 
<laughs> I was like, no. Um, but the ones for the address, that actually looked like real writing. It was really pretty. I didn't get those, though, obviously, because it's people's address. So here's the invitation. Again, I'm covering the, um, the locations. I'll go ahead and try and insert a picture of the invitation without the location, you know, just so you can see it, because I think it's so pretty. So the quality looks a little bad through the camera, but this is how it looks like. I put the little border, the eucalyptus leaves, and an anemone flower. And on the back, I added another flower, and I added our wedding website to the back of the card. I'm not sure if everyone's going to know that it's here. They're probably going to think this is just the website I made the card on, because... Some people were like, oh, I didn't know there was a website. And I was like, yeah, I probably should have been like registry or something. But that's the end of the video. Apparently I didn't film anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll go ahead and make sure that I put everything down in the description from like where I bought things, what I used. If I can find it still, you know, I'll check. Um, yeah, I think... I think that's all I needed to say. I might post a bridal shower video very soon. I'm also going to have my bachelorette in a couple weeks. So we'll see if I get any footage from that or if I post or whatever. You guys can go ahead and follow me on TikTok, Instagram because I post a lot there. I, I mean, I try to at least. Um, I post more there than I do here, that's for sure. If you like, you guys can go ahead over there and follow me. Check things out. See if you like it. Follow me if you do. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video, comment down below what you'd like to see next, and it is almost wedding time, <laughs> and I hope you'll have a nice video for that to post too. Alright, bye guys.